Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. We're doing some more work on the alphabet quilt today. So if you want to see how to create letters with angles like this, please stay tuned. Welcome to week two of the Sew Along for the Alphabet Quilt. If you um, missed last week's video, I will link it in the description box so that you can see the letter that we worked on last week. I have it here. First, let me talk about um, the pattern. This is my Alphabet Quilt pattern, and our Sew Along is going to be how to make the three types of letters. Um, featured in this quilt. We won't make every individual letter, but I just kind of want to go over the process with you for each type of letter. Um, in this uh, pattern, there is a, um, a sampler. This uh, sampler pattern is in the back of this, but in between there are um, groups of letters that are all laid out by, um, by grid. There are two sizes of each letter, so you can decide how you want to insert it into your own project, or if you just want to make the sampler, the, um, the guide for the sampler is in the very back. So I will have this linked as well in my um, Etsy shop. I've already shown a few um, quilts that I have made using letters, and so... Um, this can be a valuable guide for you if you're thinking of making a super personalized quilt where you want to put some letters in patchwork. Um, last week we made uh, a letter that just had straight lines. So last week was E. And today we're going to do the Z. Because I am working on a quilt for a friend that I hope to get done by her birthday in September. Um, and it is going to be personalized for her with some letters in the patchwork. And in order to do that, I need the letter Z. That's what I'm going to make today. And so I'll show you the pattern for, or the, the letter first. And then we can talk about how we're going to get it made. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but there are two Z's here. I have one Z that is made using five rows of, um, of patchwork and then one that's using six rows of patchwork. For this quilt, I'm going to be using making the six row Z um, for my friend. If you look at the pattern, each one of the letters, I tell you how many accent squares you need. That's the actual color of the letter how many background squares you need. And then there's another um, square that we need for this block because it has some angles in it. And the way that we're going to create our angles is by using half square triangles. I have a couple of the half square triangle units here. And um, I'll go over quickly how to make these uh, units. For the pattern, it tells you that um, for the regular squares that you'll need to add a, a half inch for whatever your finish size is going to be. For example, in this quilt, my finish size of my individual square is going to be three inches. So my regular squares are going to be cut at three and a half inches. For my half square triangles, um, in order to get, a three and a, to get a finished three inch size, my half square triangles uh, need to be cut one inch bigger. And if you take a look at the pattern, it does say plus one inch square for the half square triangles. And um, the big key for your half square triangle is that you need to, for each half square triangle, you need one um, accent square and one background square. And so the pattern doesn't specifically say that. Um, it doesn't say it in the individual block, but it does say it as you read the pattern. So for my half square triangle, um, units, I have two of each square, or I have one of each square, and these are cut at four inches here. Um, I did put my half square triangle squares 
in a separate bag because they're a little bit bigger than my other squares. So you do want to separate these because you don't want to accidentally sew the wrong size together. So I did separate these out. I'll go over quickly how you make the half square triangle units, then we'll get this letter laid out. We're going to start our half square triangles by drawing a line from corner to corner on each um, triangle. And then we're going to stitch a quarter inch outside on either side of that line that we drew. From that point, we just take our rotary cutter and cut on that line, which gives us two half square triangles. And then we're going to square them up to three and a half inches. Now that we have our half square triangles ready to go, it's time to lay out this block. I do want to point out that for each of the half square triangle units, you do get two um, half square triangle blocks. There are other ways to make half square triangles, but I wanted to do something that was easy to, um, to figure out as you're putting this together. Okay, so now let's lay this out. So again, even though it's six rows, each row, um, it's only uh, five columns long for this particular letter. So I'm gonna lay it out here. This is the top row. And as you follow along with the diagram, the diagram does show, hopefully it's uh, very easy for you to read the square so you can see what goes where. Here's the second row. Wait, that's not going the right way. And even as I'm putting these together, I am going back and looking at the diagram each time so that I get it correct. Okay. And the next row is going to be. And you can see that um, these blocks are not hard to put together. It's actually very simple. And so I hope that you can really see that in this video. And I'm not going to stress too much if the like um, scraps are touching. That's not a big deal. One, two, three, four, two more rows. And one cool thing about this letter is that, um, like from the camera view, it's right side up, and but it's also right side up from my view as well. Now it's time to just sew this together, um, keeping in mind that I am going to um, have the seams oppose as I put them together, and then we'll stitch the whole letter together. So I'll do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. There's one thing I want to point out on this piece with these um, half square triangles is that wherever there is wherever you stitch two of them together here like you see there are two half square triangles here and then one down here at the bottom these sections are going to have a little extra bulk it's not really a lot to worry about but just be mindful that you're going to have extra bulk where you're stitching the half square triangles together and then if I flip it over here you can see, I'm gonna make sure you can get this on camera. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so that the bulk is, it's right in here, but with, um, with good pressing, it'll be fine. I just want you to be aware of that, that these sections are gonna have a little bit more bulk because there are three seams going together instead of just or there are three sets of seams, one, two, three. Well, maybe four sets of seams that are going together. So just be mindful of that. So the Z is completed now. You can see uh, that it is put together and it looks pretty good the way that it is set up. On the back, the seam allowance is due, nest. And then for the horizontal seams, I have them all pointing down for this one. 
But remember this letter is the same no matter how you flip it. And so the seams could be facing up, whatever I decide. Um, so that covers the half square triangle and making um, letters that have some angles. If you have any questions about what you've seen in the video, please leave it in the comments below. Again, this is my alphabet quilt pattern that is uh, that you can get at my in my Etsy shop. And there's a link in the description box so that you can go and get this pattern. Um, thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!